Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use baling twine in your regular everyday prepping activities. So I don't know why us horse people, goat people, animal people, if you have hay, chances are you have this plastic baling twine laying around. I don't know why we don't all throw this stuff away, but <laughs> I guess we seem to think that it's gonna come in handy for something. So um, a friend of mine says, hey, why don't you use those to make something crafty with them? Now you can probably make rope, you can weave baskets, you can do lots of different things with this twine, so eh, why not? Give it a go. So um, I'm thinking I might make some garden planters with mine, and I actually asked some friends of mine if they had any baling twine, they says, girl, do I got twine. So guess what? I got big old baskets of them. So what you are going to want to do is throw them in your washing machine, get them all clean, it'll make it a lot easier for you, so then you can use them for other things if you need to. Now, um, you do want to make sure that you have some kind of scissors handy because they do kind of like to get tangled, but the plastic ends you can actually burn and they will melt together and fuse, so you can keep going and make one long rope with them by doing that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this one right there and uh, gather up all my pieces. Then you'll have to knot an end. I'm just going to go ahead. I've got a good bunch here. So I'm going to go ahead and tie this end in a knot. That way I know which end I can pull from. Now I'm going to take my center. I'm going to twist it and then I'm going to tie it in a big loop. Now I can hang this up on my wall. It's ready to use. I have my end so I know where to start and uh, I can use that for my other projects. So this is kind of time consuming so make sure you're sitting down watching TV or watching kids. Shoot, maybe even have your kids do this. <laughs> but uh, this is a good activity. It's things you can do that can make your life a little bit easier. You never know, you might need rope for something along the way, and uh, baling twine just might help you do the trick because it won't rot, it's made of plastic, and uh, it's a reusable resource that's pretty much free, just laying around. So call up your friends, see what they have available, and if you can pick up some twine, definitely do it. It's uh, definitely going to be worth your time doing. So um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up because as you can see I've got a lot to go through still. Just grabbing an end, pulling it through, making sure that I can untangle some knots in here if I can. And uh, got my long strands. Again I'm going to tie a knot in an end here. I kind of like to separate them in colors because if I want to color coordinate something, make something cool, I have that option to do that. Get to twist the middle, loop it around, and there again, I've got my end I can easily find, and I can hang this up on my wall. Alright, so um, if you like this video, come back for others later on, and yes, I will be doing other videos and showing you what you can do with your twine, and uh, now that I've got this all clean and ready to go, I think I'll get started with some projects. All right, well, you have a good one, and I'll see you back later. Bye now.